What's up guys, today we're gonna to be reviewing the Dimitri clone by Ivogo. Um, I actually bought this off of angelsigs.com. Um, I did do a video previously, which was just a you know quick uh, first thoughts or whatever video. So this is the full review. Without any further ado, let's get to the close-ups. Talk about it. So this is the box that the Dimitri clone by Vogo will come in. That is the box that I have. It's silver. So this is the inside of the box. Um, you do get an extra 510 connection or connector or whatever. Yeah, 510 connection, right? Yeah, which is cool. Uh, I guess according to a review I saw on the original versus the clone, a lot of folks were having issues when they would remove any of their atomizers off of the 510 connection basically what was happening is it was unscrewing and pulling out that 5 to actually just pulling out the 510 connection now um, I haven't personally had any issues in a month one month that I've actually had this um, this box mod no issues like that at all with the clone here is the actual box mod itself Ooh. Uh, just to go over some specs for you um, this is aluminum alloy, at least most of it. This looks like it's brass, and there's some other brass parts as well, and copper. Um, it does take, and it only takes 18650 batteries, uh, dual 18650, I'm singing for you, dual 18650 batteries. Um, and it has obviously a 510 connection. Uh, this is actually the silver one. I believe this is the only color, currently anyways, that Angel 6 carries. Uh, I know other folks do carry the the black ones. Maybe they're going to get the black ones soon. I don't know. But as of now, they only have the silver. As far as the 510 here, the 510 is a recessed 510 connection with a fixed copper pin, uh, copper positive contacts with a Dilrin insulator. Yep, I said Dilrin right. I know I did a, a video where I said, I think I called it Durlin. It may have been even on this device, I don't know, or this box, I don't know, but yep. <laughs> um, what else? Let's see, oh, on the bottom here, you do have two, two adjustable negative battery, 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 battery screws, battery threads, whatever you want to call them, um, to adjust your, well, to adjust your battery, that's your negative. What else? Uh, I already mentioned it's dual 18650 batteries. Oh, there are two, as you can see, two vent holes on the bottom here two vent holes and oh when I open this you can see that there are magnets so the door is magnetic so you don't have to worry about unscrewing it to take it out so that's cool uh, so you got just three little magnets there as far as that goes so it's magnetic did I say batteries it's magnetic whatever uh, on the very top here this is fully mechanical so if I take this part off right here it is fully mechanical. In fact, maybe we should do a little close-up. A little close-up of that. There you can see, fully mechanical. There's one magnet. Let's just pull this back a little more. There you go, magnets. Again, here's the Dimitri logo on there. And a closer look of the 510. Got some juice in there, don't mind me. Uh, Dilrin, obviously, insulator and copper contacts. I look kind of shaky today. And that's brass. Brass. All right, so let's change the view. Do, 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 do. Yeah, maybe this white background is a little crazy, huh, guys? <laughs> um, what else? I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. To be honest, um, there's no wiring. It's, it's a it's a true mechanical device. Um, one, not one thing. There's a few things I want to mention as far as cons uh, that you should be aware of. So when you're, mm, so on the original, 
this right here is supposed to, supposed to, when you turn to the right, lock it. It, it does not lock, so keep that in mind. Um, and if you look in here, as I turn this, you know, let's see if you can see this. You can see how the how that piece turns in there, right? So one thing you want to keep in mind, even when you're, you want to keep it all the way to the left, basically, uh, if you want it to fire correctly. And as you press it, and it's making contact with this piece right here, right here, um, it starts to spin basically and get loose. So you want to make sure, you want to make sure that you, you know, every so often, maybe even before you use it once a day, whatever the case, or when you change your batteries out, make sure that you re-tighten, make sure you re-tighten this, you know, hold the button down, make sure that's fully, well, I can't even, I can't even do it right on camera, uh, but basically just make sure that it's tight. Um, same thing with this piece right here, make sure that's tight, and that's pretty much, well, that's not it. Basically, once you do that, we're gonna put these batteries in here now. So obviously, it's dual 18650 batteries. You wanna make sure you use high drain batteries. I have Samsung 25Rs. So obviously, they're under the loose. Um, so obviously, you're gonna to wanna to tighten these, these, negative, these negative contacts right here on the bottom. Uh, looks like they're, do 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 do. What are they, what are they? Uh, silver coated, is that the word? Silver coated? Not sure, yeah, all right, anyway. So when you tighten these, you're gonna want to make sure that you you don't want to over tighten them, but just make sure they're snug. Oop, if I can can't find the hole, that's what she said. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight. Um, the tighter the better. Tighter the better. Did I just say that? Yeah. Well, I just lost my screwdriver, but that's okay. Oh. Uh, weird noises today. Weird noises, guys. Noises. Noises. Uh, so there we go. So we're gonna put on. Put this on here. I'm gonna put the Derringer back on and see if she'll fire. Okay, so we got that in there, and of course, you know, obviously it's 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 fully mechanical, right? So as you press this, there, it's working. It's working. All right, put this back on. Oh, can I even put this back on? I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, did I do something wrong here? I don't know. It's not going back on. Wait, that doesn't even make sense. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. Well, I just made a boo boo, which will. Uh... There we go. So apparently, when I tightened it, I actually pushed over onto this lip right here. So make sure that you hold that down as you actually tighten these. Or you'll do what I did, and it basically went over the lip, and and the back piece was not going on. Boy, boy, yeah, you've seen it here. So don't do that. Don't don't do what I do. Basically, there we go. So now it's back on there. There it is. Fire's just fine and dandy. Um, I mean, that's all I can really show you about this device. The other thing to keep in mind. Uh, when you are using the device, as you can see, since it's a fixed 510, you can't set it up where you have your air, air holes facing off to the sides. Um, so you will get some excess juice right here in between the actual switch or the button and your uh, atomizer. And also keep in mind, uh, since it's fully mechanical, you can easily take it apart and make sure that you clean everything up, like the threads and all that. You're gonna to wanna to check it at least once a day. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to have a paper towel, you know, when you're vaping, more than likely, just to make sure you can wipe that excess or excess or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, because it will get into it will get into the recessed area of the recessed 510. It will get into your button as well. Um, the one thing that's not happening obviously because of this this lip right here, I guess you wanna call it, right? Uh, I haven't had any issues with juice flowing in this way into the batteries. I've, I haven't had any issues with batteries getting juice on them at all. But just fair warning, just to you know that you will get juice, just like pretty much every atomizer and every uh, device that you have. Anyways, it probably happens, but with this because it's fully mechanical, 
um, you are able to take it fully apart so you can clean it out. I would suggest that. I've had it for a month. I haven't cleaned it even once, to be honest, other than wiping wiping this down with a paper towel and, you know, obviously taking this apart and wiping that, but not like a full-on cleaning. As far as durability, um, we'll talk about that in the... Well, actually, in regards to durability, I've had this for about a month and I don't have any real scratches. I don't know if it's the finish. It's kind of a nice, smooth finish you want to call it that. Um, I don't have any real dings or scratches or anything like that, and I've dropped this shit quite a bit. Mainly on the table, I didn't drop it like on the cement or anything like that. So it is durable, it's pretty, pretty hefty. Uh, like I mentioned, it's 350 grams as far as the weight, and with the batteries, obviously it's a lot heavier. And with the adding, it's even heavier. Um, but enough of that, so that's pretty much it. Real simple mod. Um, so let's take it back up top and end this review. All right, guys, so that was the close-up of the Dimitri clone by Ayavogo. As I have vape still coming out of my mouth hole. And how does it vape? It vapes very well. Um, it's like a mechanical mod, right? So the build's going to make the difference of how much vapor you get. That's going to be up to you. Um, I wouldn't really recommend putting any uh, tanks on here unless it's like a sub ohm tank, like an Atlantis, a Billow. You know, an Arctic or you know any of the above Goblin, etc., where you can have at least a a lower lower build, um, 0.5 or whatever. But in my opinion, like I'm running a 2. Point, a 0 0.25 uh, ohm build in here, and in my opinion, the lower you go, is a little bit better. But keep in mind, obviously, safety first. Make sure you use high drain batteries. I'm using the Samsung 25Rs. Make sure that you understand Ohm's law and all that. Um, in the description, I also have links. If you are not really familiar just getting the building and all that, make sure you watch some videos online as well on that. Um, check out other reviews if you can find them on the iVogo Dimitri clone before you decide to make the purchase. Um, but you know, for $34.99, you can't really beat that price. Fast shipping in the US, why not? All right guys, so until next time, stay off those cigarettes and steady vaping.